this is the mid-chapter checkpoint. Um, I'm going to go through the answers and fill them in so you can follow along and then you can take the mid-chapter checkpoint quiz. Uh, for some of the word problems, I'm just going to give the steps and hope that you can do the problem solving on your own. So number one, the blank of an object is how heavy the object is. So capacity, length, or weight, how heavy something is, is weight. The blank of a container is the amount the container can hold. That is capacity. How much can fit inside of it? All right. Um, blank, convert five miles to yards. Let me make a notebook out for that one. And I'm going to have my chart out so I know my conversions. So five miles to a yard, one mile equals 1,760 yards. So I'm taking miles, which is a small, a large me measurement, and going to a smaller measurement. So I'm going to divide. So 1,760 yards equals one mile. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to multiply that. So 1,760 yards and I'm going to multiply that by five miles. And if you solve all that out, you would get the amount of yards. 48 quarts to gallons. This is like gallon person. Um, I know that four quarts equal a gallon. And quarts are a smaller measurement. I'm going to a larger measurement. So I'm going to take... Forty-eight, and I'm going to divide it. Oh. And I'm going to divide it by four, and that would give me the number of gallons, which would be twelve. Don't move. All right, next. Um, nine tons to pounds. Well, I know that one ton equals 2,000 pounds, so I'm going to take 2,000 pounds, and I'm going to times that by nine tons, and that's going to tell me how many pounds that is, which... Multiplying by zeros is 18,000 pounds. Uh, 336 ounces to pounds. I'm going from a small measurement to a large measurement. And I know that there are 16 ounces in a pound. So I'm going to divide. And I'm going to take 300 36 ounces and I'm going to divide that by 16 ounces and that's going to tell me how many pounds and 16 goes into 33 two times which is 32 with one left over 3 minus Two is one, which would be 16, and 16 goes into 16 one time, so that's about 21 pounds. Next, I have 14 feet into yards and feet, so obviously this is already given it away that I'm going to be dividing, and I'm going to have a remainder. So there are three feet in a yard, 
So for this problem, I'm going to take my 14 feet and I'm going to divide it by 3. And obviously, 3 doesn't go to 14 evenly. So my remainder is 3 goes into 14 four times with a remainder. So that's 4 yards. And that's 14 minus 12, which would be 2. And that is 2. We can't get a space in. 2 feet. You kind of get the idea of what that is. I can't put a space in, but four yards and two feet. So remember that the remainder for a division problem is the original amount that you started with. Um, 11 pints divided by how many fluid ounces? The FL is fluid ounces versus um, the ounces that is in customary weight. Um, so 11 pints, and I have to go back to my gallon person to know that one pint equals one pint equals two cups. One cup is eight ounces. That's one pint equals sixteen ounces. So one pint equals sixteen ounces. Um, so I'm going from a larger measurement to a smaller measurement. So I'm multiplying. So I'm going to take eleven pints. And I'm going to multiply that. Sorry, excuse me. Let me fix this. Let's try that again. I'm going to take 11 pints and I'm going to multiply that by 16 fluid ounces. And if you multiply that out, remember your zero placeholder, you would get how many fluid ounces are in 11 pints. Next, we need to compare. So I have 96 fluid ounces and I have 13 cups. Um, if you remember from the notes, I said that it's personally easier to take a larger me measurement and convert it to a smaller me measurement because you just need to multiply. So there are um, eight ounces in one cup. So for this problem, I would take 13 cups and I would times it by 8 ounces and that would give me my answer of how many ounces that equals. Uh, that equals ounces and then you can compare your two numbers. Um, next, same thing here, 25 pounds. 1 pound equals 16 ounces. So I'm going to take 25 pounds and I'm going to multiply it by 16 ounces and then my answer will be in ounces. And you can compare the product to 384 ounces. Uh, eight yards compared to 288 inches. So this one we need to do a little extra back check because um, one yard equals three feet. So that means one yard equals 36 inches. So I'm gonna take eight yards and I'm going to multiply that by 36 inches and that would my product will be in inches and then I could compare it to 288. A standard coffee mug has a capacity of 16 full fluid ounces. If Annie needs to fill 26 mugs with coffee, how many total quarts of coffee does she need? So this is a wonderful problem that shows us how we are going to need um, to change the 16 fluid ounces to quarts or the final product into quarts. So um, I would first just solve it. So step one is I would take 16 fluid ounces and I would multiply that by my 26 mugs and then that would tell me how many total fluid ounces I have and the next step would be to change the total that product of fluid ounces by your quarts. All right so once you did 16 fluid ounces times 26 mugs 
your product would be 416 fluid ounces. Now, the next step is to take, the, uh, find out how many quarts are in the fluid ounces. So um, we first need our conversion. So one quart equals two pints. And one pint equals two cups and two cups is 16 ounces. So one pint equals 16 ounces. So 16 times two, two pints is 32 ounces. So one quart equals 32 ounces. So I'm gonna add that here for you to, as your conversion um, unit. One quart equals two pints, which is 32. So now that I know that one quart equals 32 ounces, my next step is to take 416 fluid ounces, which is the product, and divide that by 32 and that would equal your total quarts. Um, number 13, the length of a classroom is 34 feet. What is the measurement in yards and feet? Um, the fact that they say yards and feet knows that you're going to be dividing and you're going to have a remainder. Um, and we know that we're going to be dividing, so I'm going to take 34 and I'm going to divide it by 3 because there are 3 feet in a yard. And I know that 3 goes into 34 11 times, so that's 11 yards and 1 foot. Um, getting to that place of starting to do some math mentally. Um, if you had to do the full division to work that out, fine, but um, I hope by this point in the year you know that 33 divided by 3 is 11, and there's one remainder. Uh, Charlie's puppy Max weighs 8 pounds. How many ounces does Max weigh? So we know that 1 pound equals 16 ounces. Oops. 16 ounces. So I'm taking eight pounds and I'm going to do eight pounds I'm going to do eight pounds times Eight pounds times sixteen. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm just figuring out why I was not clicking on the right one. So I'm going to take, um, well, I guess eight pounds, and I'm going to times that by sixteen ounces, and your product would equal how many ounces the puppy weighs. Milton, Milton, Milton purchases a five gallon aquarium for his bedroom. To fill the aquarium with water, he uses a container with a capacity of one quart. How many times will Milton fill and empty the container before, before the aquarium is full? Well, we know that gallon man or gallon person um, one gallon equals four quarts. All right, so we know from looking at gallon person that one gallon equals, oops, equals four quarts. So for this problem, I'm taking a big measurement, which is five gallons and I need to change it to quarts. So I'm gonna times this by four quarts 
and that tells me that I need 20 quarts to fill the container. Um, Sarah uses a recipe to make two gallons of her favorite mixed berry juice. The containers she plans to store the juice have a capacity of one pint. How many containers will Sarah need? So again, I'm taking a large measurement, two gallons, and I'm taking it down to pints. And if I remember gallon person well, I could just count all the little appendages on gallon person and know that one gallon equals two, four, six, eight. I'm looking at my person right now equals eight pints. So if I have two gallons, I'm going to take my two gallons and I'm going to times it by eight pints. And my product is going to be how many containers um, Sarah is going to need. The average length of a female white beaked dolphin is about 111 inches. What is the length in feet and inches? All right, so the fact they're saying feet and inches is letting me know that I'm gonna be dividing and there's gonna be a remainder. So I know that there are 12 inches in a foot. So for this problem, we are going to do 111 inches. And we're gonna divide that by 12. And knowing our facts of 12, we know that 12 goes into 111 only nine times, which would be 108. And then 108 minus, taken away from 111, is three. So we know that this is nine feet and three inches. Um, and you'd be showing your work on your graph paper and writing out your answers. Um, so I would use this as your resource to take your, um, oh, don't forget your name on the paper first thing. Oh, can't use conversion. This little equation tool isn't very helpful for some things. Um, you're going to use this resource and then you're going to take the mid chapter checkpoint um, and I will save this document and I will put it into the Google Drive and you can use it as a resource. Um, I didn't do all the problems so do your work, show your work on your paper and um, then take the mid chapter checkpoint on Google or on Think Central. Um, remember to keep all of your math work together. And um, afterwards, you have a little brain break from math this weekend.